Hey, I'm back on my uh, 63 bug. That's registered to 64 or whatever. And we're removing the body. I already got it up there. I figure it's better to show you where all the bolts are. First of all, remove the steering column. You can just get the bolt out. Maybe grease it up. It took a while. Turn it back and forth. And eventually, you can just pull it out. Just pull on the steering wheel. It'll slide out. It's got the room. And there's the speedometer cable. There's a uh, brake switch wire that needs to come loose. There's two 17 millimeter heads up here to undo. There's two more coming up from the bottom there, and two more coming up from the bottom there. And 13 millimeter heads all the way down the side here. Luckily, I only had one that stripped out on the inside and spun, where I had to cut it on that side, which it's a lot easier to fix one than a bunch. There's some more that come, two more here on each side that go down through the body. There's a 70 millimeter heads on each side there. One for this year and I think 58 and older there's two. There's also, a, you can see where the one is, there's also a, two right here. Most of mine were missing. One side I got one broken off, so that side I'll have to drill out. And that's it to get it undone. Now, I'm doing it by myself, so I got my excess door bar material from the derby cars. Chained it for safety. Got one back here. I know the longer one should probably be back here, but I didn't do that. And now I think it's actually better if you got one short bar, put it at the back to where you, if your clearance is the... You don't want to get all the way up there and then try and figure out that you're too short. So if you put it back here, at least you know you can adjust it. It would be probably easier since these are jacked up just to cut those off. I don't know if you can get replacements. I'm just going to cut them off and straighten them by hand and then put them back on later. If you take those off, you get a little bit more room. I took the tires off because these bars... These jack stands aren't the best. If you don't have any jack stands and you're going to do this, go buy the huge, huge ones from Harbor Ray Freight that are like from trucks that practically stand this tall without even lifting the thing up. That's what I should have done, but I haven't been wanting to buy anything. And if you think you can get a roll, it's a lightweight bug. It will roll on the drums, no problem. So that's the point where I'm at. I just got to move stuff out of the way. Finally get a good look at this transmission. We're going to have to get that rebuilt. Why not go through all this trouble and not to do that? So, anyways, body's going to come off. I was originally going to do a lot of the body work on the car, but decided no, get this done faster. Take the pan out, get it blasted. I found some ad additions this weekend. I got a lot of parts this weekend. The biggest one I got is I found some, and they almost look like they might be Porsche. I'd have to show them to somebody. Porsche 356 spindles that have disc brake adapters on them so I'm thinking I'll put disc brakes on the front even though I could probably sell them for good money and buy more stuff I think I'm gonna go for stopping power since these things stink that's kinda what I'm doing with this car it's gonna look like a restored 63 actually it's gonna look like a 64 I decided with my deck lid and stuff to make it look like a 64 because technically it's a Baja but it won't be someday so I'm going to do a lot of upgrades. I'm thinking this brakes in the front. And I'll probably do, but it's, I don't know, I haven't done it in so long. It's going to be so hard to find parts. Do the wider Type 3 brakes in the rear. But I don't know how easy it's going to be to find. The drums I bought from Chirico in Tucson last year, or last, sorry, last time. And the backing plates, I actually took Type 3 fronts and modified them because it was a Sanro. But since this is a street driven car. I will kind of have to find the type type 4 or whatever, type 3, type 4 backing plates to make the car look decent. So that's about it. And then I can start working all these cracks, cutting that section out, cutting that section out, replacing it, splicing and putting a new back end on it, new front end on it, and restoring the doors and get some paint on this thing someday. So. But there you go, belly pan removal. I was been asked 
by people I've gotten parts for how to get it apart because theirs is rusty. So, well, there you go. Anyhow, that's what you do. See ya.